Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is Ketul Patel and in this tutorial we are going to see that how we can upload an image from image view to a SQL database in Android Studio. So let's start the tutorial without wasting time. So uh, we are in Android Studio and in the last video we have created a QR code using Link Library and uh, we have showed that QR code on an uh, image view. So like I'm not going to use a new file and create a new image view. So we are we will create an image uh, from that QR code and we will upload that image view to our SQL database. So first of all uh, we are in our SQL Management Studio and and our database will create a new table. So our first column will be ID and we'll set it as a primary key and we'll again set it as an auto increment. Now uh, we will we'll just use an image and we will give it uh, the format as a text and we will not allow null for it and let's name the table as image so now let's close this and we are uh, like you can see that the layout the layout when so last time we have created this layout where we enter a text over here and when we click, click when we click on a generate button it generates a qr code and an image view so uh, and we have created a scan qr code button so for now let's use that this scan qr code button as a float image and qr button so let's go to our java file main so uh, we already have got that button over here that was qr button and we have already created a set on click listener so now what we will do is uh, in this set on click listener so this set on click listener is for this our upload image button so once we generate a qr code then we will click on our upload image button and this upload image button will send our image to sql database so we are going to use the base64 string for that so let's go to our main activity.java file and here first we will write uh, we already get our image view over here so uh, we will get the bitmap drawable bitmap drawable is equal to new is equal to bitmap drawable and our image view dot get drawable and after this we will create a bitmap so bitmap is equal to bitmap drawable dot get bitmap so after this uh, we will create a byte and output string for our image so we will create a byte array output string it's equal to new byte array output string and after this we will just compress our image to a png format and then we will send that png format to our base64 string so our bitmap dot compress and we will pass our compress format as a png you can use jpg or any other format that you want and 100 quality is 100 you can define the quality as per your 
our need and now we'll pass our byte as output stream over here so after this uh, we will create a byte array byte array bytes is equal to our byte array output stream dot to byte array so we have converted our byte array output stream to array and after this we will create a string and we will stay on page 64 string to our string file so string image is equal to base 64 base 64 dot and code to string and we'll pass our byte byte array over here and comma base 64 dot default so uh, we have successfully converted our image to a base 64 string now what we have to do is we have to send this data to our sql file so in our pre previous videos we have already created the connection property in the driver manager to send the data to sql so you can watch the videos the link is in description you can go and watch so copy the driver connection from here and we will paste it over here so so basically this is the connection class where we are connecting our application to the sql server using jdbc driver so as i told that you can see in the previous videos now uh, we will need a, a sync so we will need a class that extends a asynchronous task so for that uh, let's create a public class and let's name it as uh, send image and we will extend it with async task so extend with async task and we will add a parameter so string comma String, comma, string. So uh, it will give error because it needs the method to implement the domain background method for it. So you can see that it it has implemented the domain background method. So let's create a status variable string s, and we will return that. A status variable at the last because we can't return a null at the end of our program. So after this, what we will do is let's create the two connection. So we will create a connection variable and a statement variable. So in our do in background, but do in background we'll create a try catch block. Try block uh, we'll copy this because we have as I told that we have already created this in our previous video we can check. So basically this is the connection properties for the connection class that we have created over here so as you can see that it needs the username password database and the server and here uh, we provide it the username password database and the ip address from the connection class created over here
So after this, uh, we will simply create a uh, our query. So string query is equal to insert insert into our class name that table name that we have created image and the column name and the values so uh, what we will do is uh, the code which we have written in our on click we will just simply cut that and we will add that in our domain background method so we will simply pass the image the string image over here so after writing the query we will execute it so statement stmt that we have created is equal to con dot create statement and last we will execute the query so stmt dot execute update and we will pass our query over here Uh, so basically what it do we have just uh, cut the uh, code which we have written over here that converts our image to base 64 into our doing background method and then we have created a connection class we provided the uh, properties to our connection class and then we have created a string query string so it says simply insert into image and our column name and value as an image so this image is basically the b64 string and then we have executed the array query and at last uh, we will s is equal to true s is equal to uh, we just have to initialize it as Initialize that false. So we will return the true over here after our execution. So this was how you can just simply uh, insert. This is the simple code where you can just create an image view, uh, view that you can create a base64 string of image view and you can pass it to the SQL database. And here in our on click button, what we will do is we will just call this class public class send image that we have created. So for that, you need to do is new our activity. So that is main activity dot send image dot execute so when we will click on the button over here upload image button it will simply call the class over here it will first convert our image view to the b64 string and then it will send that b64 string to our database so this is how we can so now let's run the project and see if it's working fine or not and uh, if you want this code i have just given it the given the link in the description you can uh, go and check it out So we will create a QR code first. Click generate. 
you can see a QR code is created over here and I will click on the upload button or code will work but first let's create a status flag over here so inside uh, at the bottom of the button we will create a text view and width will be match present and height will be content let's create an android ID and let's name it as status go to our main activity we will create a text view variable over here our on create text view is equal to text view find view by id r dot id dot status so what we will do is uh, when by default we will add the text over here is android text will be status so by default it will be status then when it will uh, when we will create uh, our QR code so when we will click on our generate button let's change the status to so text view dot set text and we will pass QR let's say image created and when we will click our send image so when we will click our upload image button so text view dot set text and we will pass sending image to database and after uh, our execution so when status will be true then we will simply change it to image send to So this is basically the status uh, for me so I can just know that if, whether image is uh, image has been successfully sent to the database or not it just it totally depends on you if you want you can add So you can see uh, by default the status now let's create a um, QR code generate so you can see that it changed the status to image created and now when we upload the image so sending the image to database and you can see that the image sent to database successfully so this is how you can create uh, uh, this is how you can send the image from image view to database so in next video what we will do is we will get that uh, image from our database and we will show it to our image view so we will get the data from sql database we will get the image from sql database ms sql database and we will show that image into our image view want the code the link is in description you can watch and if you want to watch the previous video the link is in description so if you are getting any error you can just comment down below and if you like the video press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the tutorials coming thank you for